Good morning, Celebration. Thanks for tuning in with us this morning. Let's go and worship together. having a great day. Today we are reading out of the book of Philippians uh, chapter 4 
verses 6 and 7. If you're needing some peace in your life, if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling like life is getting the best of you, peace is possible. And here in these two verses, you find the key to tapping into the peace that I know many of us are looking for. It says this, don't worry about anything. That's already step one. Most of us, we've already failed the test, but this is the key to peace. Don't worry about anything, but it's not just leaving you hanging and you mustering up the strength to avoid every worryful thought. No, there's a solution and there's something that you're going to substitute for your worry. It says this, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Number one, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Those two things right now, you're going to pray, you're going to tell God what you need in your life, and then you're going to thank him for all the things that he has already done that we have already forgotten about. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your heart and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. You know, I've seen, you know, like in my life, it's easy to worry about stuff, and start getting real anxious about things. And really what I'm doing is I'm magnifying the, th- the, the thing I'm worried about. I'm magnifying the concern. Uh, this scripture is saying, hey, stop magnifying the concern and start magnifying what God has done in your life and what he's going to do in your life. You could either focus on this or you can focus on that. The one you decide to magnify is going to produce depression or peace. You pick. Um, my daughters love to draw little drawings for my wife and I. And, um, you know, even if like one's not interested, if she sees the other sister drawing something, they'll go get their markers and they'll just try to compete. And then they'll present them to you as a parent. And they want you to tell them how great their drawing is. And so many times I'll be looking at one drawing and I'm magnifying it. Wow, this is so good. You're doing such a great job. But then my other daughter gets a little bit jealous. and Now she's demanding my attention. And so I'm like, you hold on, let me go talk to you and magnify. Hey, this is such a great painting. Wow. Look at that. If I only, if I was really a stick figure and skinny, that would be awesome. And in the process of magnifying these drawings, I realized something. It is impossible to magnify them both at the same time in your life today. You have control of what you're going to make a big deal. I can either thank God for all he has done and make God a big deal, or I can focus on the negativity and make that a big deal. But I can't do it both at the same exact time. Today, choose wisely. I know your worries are real. I know there's deadlines to things and there's solutions you need by this date. You worrying about it does not add another day, another ounce of joy to the situation. You might as well let it go. Control what you can. What is that? My relationship and confidence with God. Instead of panicking, I'm going to pray. I'm going to make my request known to God. God, this is where I need help. God, I need help here. God, I need your, I need a miracle here, wherever it may be. And in the process of doing that, because your mind is going to want to wander, God gives you another solution and then start to thank me for everything that I've done. Maybe for you, that's the missing component. You don't have a problem praying to God, but when your prayer is done, you go back to panic and God says, no, don't go back to panicking. Start thanking me for all the previous battles, the things that I walked you through when you were 16 years old, the things that I saved you from when you were a kid, the last battle a year ago, you didn't think you were going to make it. And I saw you through it. Begin to remind yourselves of the things that God has done. I believe as you do, you're going to find yourself experiencing this peace that will give you a confidence to walk out whatever you're going through today. Peace is possible today. Just do what the Bible says to do. Let's pray. God, today, over every heavy heart, we speak peace. We surrender our worries to you. Doubt, we tell you to leave. We are people of faith. We go by what the word of God says, not our feelings, not our emotions, not even what we see with our eyes. Today, we choose to believe, God, that you are faithful that you will see us through it. And God, we thank you for all that you have done in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I hope this helped you guys. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.